In this lesson, we will learn about editable motion trails. Motion trails are used to track arcs in animation. It's one of those principles that help us to really push our work to another level and create something very appealing, entertaining to watch. And what's great about Maya is that it allows us to edit our animation directly from the motion trail it generates. Let's have a look at how this works. What we'll do is go ahead and jump to our perspective view. From there, let's go to the show menu and we'll turn on NURBS curves. Now let's go ahead and grab the character center of gravity control. We'll go to animate, create editable motion trail, and we'll have a look at the option box. Keep in mind that the same options can be accessed from the channel box. So I'm just coming here to reset the settings again so yours match mine. And we can now choose create motion trail. Now where is it? We've made it, right? Let's go to the show menu and make sure that we have motion trails checked. All right, sweet. So there it is. Again, this shows us the trajectory of the animated object. Fantastic. So we could actually come in and start tweaking the motion trail by grabbing our keyframes. Then we can grab our move tool and take a look. In a matter of seconds, we're able to tweak the animation. So watch this. Let's go ahead and move to about frame 101. Let's simply go ahead and take this keyframe and we'll bring it up just a bit. And then we can take the following key on 104. And we can go ahead and drop that just a little bit so we can start to improve our arc. Nice. And then we could take this a step further. If we wanted to, we can turn on tangency. How cool is that? So right underneath increment, let's go ahead and turn on our in and out tangents. We'll highlight both channels and we'll set the value to 1. Now we can marquee select to grab either half of the tangent handle. And again, we could use our move tool to start improving the fluidity of our arc. Fantastic. So that has better curvature. That should lead to a better jump. Nice. Now we're getting a little bit of locking in the feet. No worries. We could always grab our leg controllers and we can go ahead and kind of move them up to fix the locking problem. Nice. So that's better. I've just tweaked the left foot. Let's take a look at the right. And that looks pretty cool. Wonderful. So that didn't take much time at all. You could also add keyframes to your motion trail. How do you do that? Let's go ahead and select it. We'll scroll down until we find Modify Keys. Here it is. Let's go ahead and set that to 1. So now, wherever we click on the motion trail, that's where a keyframe will be added. How cool. Keep in mind that as long as Modify Keys is on, you'll constantly add keyframes. So let's make sure we turn it off once we're done adding keyframes to the animation. I'll go ahead and set that to zero. And now we're able to go in and start modifying that key that we've just created. How cool is that? Let's have a look at the graph editor to see what happens when we start to adjust one of our keys. Keep in mind this has nothing to do with rotation. That should be straightforward enough, but I just wanted to point that out to you. This has everything to do with our translate channels. So you'll notice if I were to go back to 104 and start modifying that key, you can see how that will start to update the animation. So you can see how that starts to change the position of our translate Y key on that same frame. Sweet. So I just wanted to point that out to you. I might go ahead and bring this back down to smooth out the animation. Fantastic. And here's another cool part. This is very non-destructive. So once we're done with the motion trail, it's just a matter of selecting it and deleting it, and all of our changes will be saved. How cool. So in this lesson, we learned how to work with editable motion trails. It's a great way to check for arcs. That way, we can make sure our motion is very fluid and natural so that we can truly be pleased with our work. What I'd like to do is go in and tweak the legs around frame 100. I'd like to grab both controls, kind of bring them up to fix the IK locking. 
Again, it's all about getting the most polished look possible so that you can create work that stands out from other animations. That's how you get jobs.